Today I just wanted to share with you a few ways that we save on water. Um, this is two parts. Obviously it's important to save on water, but also it's budget driven for us. We used to have city water and our city water bill was regularly $60 a month because it was city water plus city sewer. Now we have well water, so it's not an issue, but um, we still try to save water because that's a good thing to do. <laughs> so here are eight ways that we use in our household to save water. Saved us just over $20 a month on average on our water bill. Number one is occasionally take a pot bath. Um, this is Dr. Bronner's soap. You're probably familiar with a pot bath, but then again, you may not be. For a pot bath, you just fill your clean sink with hot water, add a little bit of Dr. Bronner's soap, take a washcloth, and literally stand there and give yourself a rub down. Start with your face, um, obviously not with the bottoms of your feet. So basically, you know, keep, try to keep the washcloth as clean as you can, you know, and then with it getting dirtier at the end of the bath, then you just drain that sink water and fill it up um, and then kind of wipe off with your rinsed out rag all over. So if you do that, um, maybe like once a week, you'll definitely save water. My grandmother's family, when she was a little girl, used to regularly take pot baths where they would heat a pot of water on the stove and they would each get a little bit of it and they would do exactly what I just said except um, I'm, they weren't using Dr. Bronner's. Another thing you can do is take four minute showers. You can try to do three minute showers. My husband feels like three minutes is a little short. <laughs> Four minute showers are still probably shorter showers than you're used to taking. And you know, obviously if you're in there for less time, you're saving water. One way to make a four minute shower easier um, and something that's just really good for you to do anyway is to dry brush. So this is my dry brush. If you dry brush before your shower, then you don't, it eliminates all need to exfoliate in the shower completely. So dry brushing is really good for you. Um, you'll get used to the way it feels and you won't, you won't have to spend time in the shower exfoliating. Um, you can brush your teeth in the shower. That may help you um, because if you're someone that leaves the conditioner on your hair or something like that, you, know, you can be brushing your teeth while the conditioner is on your hair or you're feeling, you're almost like allowing yourself, you know, um, a little bit extra time in the shower, but also getting your teeth brushed while you're in there. That's something that Kevin likes to do. One thing that I like to do is not wet my toothbrush prior to starting to brush my teeth. Um, I, it, number one, it saves water. Number two, I feel like it's a little bit more abrasive on your teeth. The toothpaste is not diluted. So it's just, I like to do it. I don't wet my toothbrush. I don't even wet the toothpaste on my toothbrush. I just start brushing when I'm finished. Then that's when I would turn on the water. It makes my mouth feel more like a just from the dentist cleaning. You know when you go to the dentist and get a cleaning they'll use that like abrasiveness. Anyway and their you know products are obviously a little bit you know stronger than your toothpaste at home um, so I like to do that. When you wash your fruits and vegetables to do so in a bowl if you just get a bowl like a large metal bowl or a large glass bowl and wash your fruits and vegetables in it starting with um, you know you can wash a lot of things in one bowl together so regularly I'll wash um, you know carrots and apples for example in the same bowl and then when I'm finished with those I may wash potatoes but if you then carry that bowl just out your front door or out your back door and pour them on your plants um, then you're watering your plants. You know, you could pour them on your house plants too, but that, with me, that would get a little bit messy. 
so I like to just um, pour them on the plants. But what I really like to do is pour it in my composter. Occasionally composters need some water and if you just occasionally take the water that you washed your vegetables with and put it in your composter, you're not going to need to put extra water in your composter so that will save you water. Make a rain barrel or buy a rain barrel but they're easy enough to make so make a rain barrel um, if you're watering your garden. So first of all, a rain barrel is going to be a lot better if you're watering your garden than city water because city water is chlorinated. That's not, trust me, it's going, you're, you're going to have a better garden if you water with um, your rain barrel water and your rain barrel water is free. So that's a good one. Number I think this is eight idea. I think the eighth idea is if you have a jetted tub, when you're finished taking your bath, don't drain the water. Get out of the tub, dry off, you know, get dressed, do whatever you're gonna do, whatever, and get some automatic dish detergent, squirt some automatic dish detergent in your jetted tub, not a lot, just, you know, a little bit, as much as you would put in your dishwasher. Turn your jetted tub on and let it run for about 10 minutes, maybe even less. Then just simply drain the tub and as the tub is draining, I just like to take a cup and um, splash some of the water around the tub um, to get any film or you know loose like soap scum or dead skin cells off the walls of the tub. So it's never caused any problems with my jetted tubs before. I, I've heard people say that you're not supposed to use bubbles etc in jetted tubs. I do. I always have. I mean that's fun. So that's basically what I'm saying is that advice is coming from me who already uses bubbles in my jetted tub regularly. Um, so it's worked beautifully for me doing that dish detergent um, in the jetted tub, automatic dish detergent in the jetted tub to clean it. So I think that those are easy ways to save, you know, approximately $240 a year. $240 a year. That's... $240 a year. If you liked this video, please subscribe. I have lots of money saving tips because um, my husband and I are super into sticking to our budget. Um, so if you'd like more water saving tips or um, more money saving tips in general, just let me know. Thank you for watching and have a great day.